a hand clap of praise in this place. Come on, lift your voices right now. We give God the praise. We give God the glory. We give God the honor on this morning. Come on and bless him on this morning. Bless his name. Bless him in a mighty way. Hallelujah. We lift you up on this morning. You are a God that healeth thee. We bless your holy name on this morning. To God be the glory on this morning. We bless your mighty name on this morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah in this place. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. We give you praise on this morning. Our Father, we give you praise on this morning. Amen. At this time, we're going to call for Minister Cheney to come and lead us in prayer on this morning. Amen. amen. Let's give her a hearty amen as she comes. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father God, we bless your name, O oh God. Father God, we give you glory, O oh God. Father God, we give you the praise, O oh God. Father God, we give you the honor, O oh God. Father God, you are mighty, O oh God. Mighty God. You are a great God, O oh God. 
You are an all-knowing God. You are a powerful God. You are Alpha. You are Omega. Yes. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. You are the author and finisher of our faith, oh yes, God. God. Father God, we bless your name, oh God. Father God, we thank you for your grace. Thank we you. thank you for your mercy. Yes. We thank you for our early morning rising. Yes, we God. thank you, oh God, for being our peace. We thank you for being our joy. We thank you for being our way maker. We thank you for being our provider. Father God, you are all that we need, oh God. Yes. Father God, we can't do anything without you, oh God. Yes, God. Father God, we realize that through you, oh God, all things are possible. All things. If we only believe in you. Yes, yes God. Lord. Trust in you. Lean on you. Yes, God. Have faith in you. Yes, God. In the name of in Jesus, name oh of God. Jesus. Father God, be glorified on today, oh God. And have your way, oh God. Way, move God. like you want to move, oh God. Good, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Be a comforter to those, oh God, that need comfort, oh God. Yes. Father God, give them strength, oh God. Do so. For your word says, oh God, that you will give us strength, oh God. In the name of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, oh God. Jesus. Father God, help us to lean not to our own understanding, oh but in all our ways acknowledge you, O oh God. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Jesus. Father God, you are our way maker, O oh God. Yes. You are our sustainer, O oh God. Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Have your way, have oh God. Way. Father God, bless those, oh God, that are in bereavement, oh God. Yes, Lord. Father God, we have lost so many loved ones, oh God. Yes. And Father God, we don't understand it, oh God. Yes. But Father God, your way is perfect, oh God. Yes, Lord. And Father God, you don't make any mistakes, oh God. Amen. In the name, in of, the name Jesus, of Jesus, oh God. And Father God, we will understand by and by, oh God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, bless this country, oh God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, Father God, have your way, oh God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Jesus. Now, Father God, I ask, oh God, that you bless my pastor, oh God. Bless. Touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Yes, yes Lord. Give us a word from on high, oh God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, not just to bless this house, oh God, but Jesus. to bless all those, oh God. That are on this telecast, oh God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, name oh of God. Jesus. Bless his family, oh God. Yes, God. Bless his children, oh God. Bless, Bless his finances, oh God. Yes, Bless Lord. his home, oh God. Bless. Father God, give him, Father God, all that he has asked you for, oh God. Yes. In the name of in Jesus, name oh God. Of Jesus. And Father God, I thank you, oh God, thank for you, touching God. his wife, oh God. Yes, Lord. I thank you, oh God, for healing her, oh God. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, oh God. Father God, for wrapping your arms around this family, oh God. Yes, yes, I thank you for blessing this family, oh God. Father God, they are truly a blessing to me, oh God. Thank you, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Jesus. Father God, bless a pastor. Davis and his wife, oh God, yes, God. and on the road, oh God. Yes, I ask God. for traveling mercies for them, yes, oh God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, name oh God. Jesus. Father God, dispatch your guardian angels, oh God, yes, to, to, to make a way for them, oh God. Away, In the God. name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, oh God. We, thank you, Lord. we bless you, oh God. Yes. We praise you, oh God. Yes, God. We give you glory. Lord. We give you honor. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Thank God and amen. 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 Come on, get a Lord a hand clap of praise thank in this place. Amen. Amen. We thank Mr. Thank Cheney God. for that wonderful prayer on this morning. Amen. Come on and get a Lord a hand clap of praise in this place. Amen. Don't give me a hand clap of praise, but give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, and we worthy. just bless his name on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 My name is Pastor Elder Elder Michael Payne of Outstretched Evangelistics Ministry. Yes. And we thank God for each and every one of you who are joining us by Facebook, who are joining us by YouTube. And those that are in the house on this morning, we just thank God for what he's doing yes, in your God. life and in our lives and through this ministry. Amen. Yesterday, we had an outreach program for the community, for our teens. And we thank God for the teens that showed up. Yes. It's, too, look, it's too many people to, to, give, uh, to give glory to. But we thank God for each and every person that participated yes. and was there on yes. yesterday to help bring this vision to pass. Yes. Amen. We are not an island by ourselves, but we come together collectively to do some great things for the community. Yes, God. And God was pleased on what took place. Amen. We thank God for every person that was there from 
uh, whatever role, whatever church you were in that came out and played a role on yesterday. Yes, but God. we thank God on this morning because God has a word. I'm not going to be before you long. Amen. But God is truly in the place and we're going to give him some praise, praise where him. praises are due. Amen. Amen. So if you turn with me to 1 Peter. All right. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. We only going to read one verse on this morning. That's okay. verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Yes. Amen. And it read, I'm going to read in your hearing. Mm -hmm. Verse 9 says, But ye are a chosen generation, mm -hmm. a royal priesthood, yeah. and holy nation, yes. a peculiar people, yes. that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah. That is our reading on this morning. I want to talk to you from this thought or from this notion on this morning. You belong to God. Yeah, yeah. You belong yes, to yes. God. Does anybody know who you belong yeah, to on yes. this morning? You belong yeah. to God. There was a time when I was a biker and I noticed that all my friends had bikes they want. They had crotch rockets, and some had cruisers. And I wanted to be a part of that crew. And you have to understand when you look at the word "belong," it is to identify with, or be a part of, uh -huh. or want to be recognized with, the, or associated with those. Yeah. It is a part of being emulated, which is to be just like a pattern of. But anyway, I wanted to be a part of this group. I wanted to be a part of these bikers during this time. Mm -hmm. Yes, Elder Payne was a biker. I had a crotch rocket. It was a fast crotch rocket. I love my bike. And that bike was something special to me. I wanted to belong to a group that were actually doing something, that were actually moving, that was constantly in the wind and noticed by folks. I ended up joining this group because I knew if I was in there, I would be recognized. I had a, a pass of approval. And even in today's time, we have folks that want a pass of approval. Yeah, we yeah. all want to belong to something, right, whether yeah. it be a house club, whether it be a food club, whether it be a book club. We all want to belong to something. Right, we right. want to be a part of something. We want to be recognized by somebody. Yeah. And this is where we are in our lesson. You have to understand, my brothers and sisters, that watching on several on this line, everyone wants to be a part of something. Yeah, yeah. You want to be part of a health club. You want to be part of a food club. And these are the things that the membership is your proof. It is your proof or your desire that you want to fit in. And we find ourselves in trouble when we try to fit in with those that are not like us. Amen. Yeah, yeah, the Bible yeah, yeah. tells us, come from among them and be ye separated. You have to come from among them that are doing evil. Come from among them are doing things yeah. contrary to the word of God. You have to come from among them. So All we right. want the desire to fit in. Touch your neighbor and say, no, just don't fit in. Just, just don't, don't fit in. in. Be positive when you fit in. Be positive when you fit in. And then these folks wish to emulate. They wanted to imitate or follow the pattern. See, I wanted to follow the pattern that these bikers had because I love the way that they lined up in the street. Right. It just looked like something out of the movie. It looked like something that was interesting to me. And with a group of folks, when you ride with a group of folks, it's nothing but like having that wind hitting you as you riding down the road. You enjoying yourself on that stretched out highway. You can think clearly. Your mind is open. You can hum some, some songs to yourself. You just feel free in the wind. And when you are with a group of people, you feel that connection. You feel that surrounding. And that's what the brotherhood is supposed to be about. Brothers and sisters, we are to come together and comfort one another. We are to come together and strengthen one another. We are to come together and encourage one another. And that's what this whole thing is about. It is a family that has come together to do some great 
and mighty things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you look at being an example or being a pattern, we see that children, when they are growing up, they want to follow in their parents' footsteps. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, I had a vision a long time ago when I first came to the Lord. The Lord showed me the footsteps, and he said, my footsteps are deep and wide. He said, but if you stand in them, I will stable you right, as you right, walk. Yeah. I will right. walk with you. So he began to hold my hands and I kept walking in the imprints that he left for me to walk in. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. See, as children, they grow up and they want to follow hard after their parents. If their parents are doing the right thing, they want to grow up and do the right thing. It's like this spiritually. Paul said, pattern yourself. Pattern yourself. Pattern. I am a pattern. Follow after me as I follow Christ. Let me be that example until you hit that spiritual growth in your life where you can walk by yourself. But we are not walking by ourselves because we have the comforter who stands by us. The comforter comes along and helps guide us. The comforter comes along and helps lead us. The comforter stands by us and makes yeah. sure that we stay on the path that we are supposed to stay on. But you have to have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying yeah. to you. Yeah. So the Lord is walking with us constantly. He's holding our hand. And Paul tells him, let me be that example for you. Yeah. If you want to grow, if you want to be successful in life, if you want the blessings of God, if you want the promises of God, if you want God's blessings on your life, there's a pattern, there's a standard yes. that must be followed, and you must understand this. Understand who you are and whose you are. Yeah, yeah. There's a pattern that has to be followed, and if you get anywhere off course, you do have the right to get back on. Right. But don't wait too long, my brothers and sisters, because that door might be shutting sooner than you think. Once you understand who you are yeah, yeah. and whose you are, you can go further in life. See, yeah. Paul lets them know. He says, you belong to the Lord. He tells them this. He says, let me tell you why. You belong to the Lord. Okay. He said, you are living stones. Mm -hmm. You are living stones. Yeah. We are living stones because we are connected mm -hmm. to the living stone. Yeah. The living stone is Jesus Christ. He is our source. Yes. He is our reference. He is our pattern. He is our goal. Yes. He is our example. We are connected to the source. Is anybody connected to the source on this morning? He is the author and the finisher of our faith. See, Jesus is the living stone. Since Jesus is the focus point of our lives, we must, oh my God, we must, we live because he lived first. Yeah. He, we live because he lives first. Yeah, yeah. He is the way. Yeah. He is the truth. Yeah. And he is the light. No man comes to the Father except by him. By Peter him. makes it plain. He said, you don't understand that you have been chosen. You have been chosen. See, my brothers and sisters, we have been chosen. Yeah. We didn't choose God. God chose us. Yeah, uh -huh. can, you ever, can, can you ever remember being in a game or being on a football field or being uh, uh, just being out in the playground and they pick leaders for these teams. Yeah. And when these team leaders pick folks, they always pick the best folks first. Yeah. My God, my God, I'm going somewhere with this right. one. Right. They always pick the best people first or they always pick their friends yeah. first. Yeah. And then it comes down to the end where you either second to the last and you're like, okay, am I going to be the last one? Am I going to be the sorry one that they pick up? And you notice when that last person is picked up, they just say, come on. They don't say, we got Johnny. We got Susie. They don't seem excited about it. But they always see that last person that, oh, we got Johnny. Just come on. Come on. He's on our team. Come on. Folks have attitudes like that. But I want to tell you, if you feel like that in today's time, the last shall be first. And the first shall be last. I want to talk to somebody on this morning. You've been going through hell and high water. You seem that you like you the last be the last person. You're in last place. But God said today is the day that you move to the front of the line. Yeah, you yeah. might as well cut the line right now. Yeah. Get in for your blessing. Right. Get in for your healing. Yeah. Get in for your miracle. God has a blessing for you. It's your time. Yeah. 
ahead of the line. It is your time. God said it's your time. Peter your makes time. it plain. You and I have been chosen. So, when you look at the word chosen, I go back to Deuteronomy. And I believe it's Deuteronomy 7 or 9. And it goes through some verses, but it talks about our, our chosen people. That we are God's treasure. And when you see that, you have to understand that you belong to God. But you, these are three things that he makes clear when it comes to the things of God. Yeah. He makes these three titles. He said, you are a uh, uh, special people. You are a precious treasure. Yeah. Number two, when he says, you are a kingdom of priests. Okay. And number three, he says, you are a holy nation. Yeah. See, these titles just don't come with no expiration date. As yeah. long as you are in the will of God, yeah. you can have what God has for you. Yeah. But the moment Israel got out of line, got out of place, they forfeited everything that God had for them. Right. Touch your neighbor and say, don't forfeit it, baby. Don't forfeit, don't forfeit, it, baby. Don't forfeit, don't forfeit your blessing. All right. All don't right. forfeit your miracle. Yeah. Go in and get what God has for you. Yeah. God has some great things in store for you. When he talks about being chosen, uh, you know you are chosen. You are a royal priesthood. Yes, yes. You are a peculiar people. You are chosen. Chosen. Mm. You are chosen. You are chosen for some great things. And it just doesn't stop here. God has some great things in store for you. Right. Then you start to feel the, the greatness of God on your life. Listen, in Exodus 19 and 6, uh, lets us know the children of Israel was picked first. Right. They were the chosen children. Chosen. They were the chosen people. Right. Not because they were, my brothers and sisters, did everything right. right. They were chosen because God loved them. Yeah, the Bible tells us in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only yeah. begotten son. God has chosen you because of the love that he had for you. He chose you. My he God, gave you his God. only begotten son. I, you need to tell somebody you belong to God. Yes. You belong to God. You belong to God. You belong to God. You are a chosen generation. Listen, chosen by God unto salvation. Yes. First Peter 1 and 2 says you are the elect. Right. God has specially chosen you as the elect to receive salvation. Now there are so many people that don't understand what salvation means. And while I was meditating on this morning, the Lord told me, he said, Pastor Payne, Elder P, look, listen here. There's a cloud mm -hmm. over Fort Wayne. And it is a cloud because folks don't know who they are and whose they are. Right. And I just come to encourage somebody on this morning. You got to know who you are yeah. when it comes to the things of the Lord. You are a chosen generation. You are blessed and highly favored. Right. You are above and never beneath. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are a blessed and chosen generation. My God, my God. I had to look at this and say, God, what, 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 are, what else are you trying to say? He said, they don't understand who they are right. in me. They losing their confidence. And when I said that they were chosen, listen, some folks don't understand that you have been chosen to do some great things. Right. Let me put it to you like this. How in the world is outstretched going to do a well a, a, a wellness and team fit program and do it by themselves? How in the world are they going to do that? Because we were chosen. God has chosen us. Uh, can I go on? You might not be liked by a whole lot of folks, but you've been chosen. Can I say that again? You might not be liked by a whole lot of folks, but you have been chosen. You might not meet everybody's expectations. Right. that you have been chosen. Yeah. You might not be the first choice that they thought that you should have been or you thought you might have been, but you have been chosen. chosen. God has bigger things in store for us. Yeah. Your bank account might not be big as you want it to be, but you have been chosen. Yes. You don't live in the finest house. Yeah. You don't drive the finest car, but 
you've been chosen. And folks look at you and they might not see the God in you, but you got to realize that you have been chosen. It's not what folks think about you, it's what you think about you. And if you start thinking highly of yourself, thinking highly on yourself under the understanding of what God has done for you in your life, you have been chosen. Uh, you don't understand what I'm saying when I'm saying chosen? Well, let's look at it this way. David, David, when 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 the prophet went to David's father's house and he said, Is these all your sons? Is this every son here? David was chosen to be the next king. And he was out in the back feeding and playing with the sheep, watching and guarding the sheep. And he was watching over them, but he was chosen. And, and Samuel said, Look, I'm not gonna leave here until you bring him here. He noticed every son, every son, he noticed every son and thought that might have been the one. No, this one might have been the one. That one might have been the one. He said, Look at here, is there somebody missing? Well, David's out back. David's doing his own thing back yeah, there. Yeah. He's handling some other stuff. He's playing with the sheep. Oh, bring him here. Samuel said, bring him here. He noticed that, oh my God, this is the God's choice. And I want to tell somebody on this morning, you are God's choice. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. has chosen you yeah. from the foundation of He has chosen you. He has favored you. Yeah, he has put his stamp of approval on your life. Yeah. And I said, oh my God, what a wonderful thing to be chosen. You ought to feel special on this morning. Is there anybody that feels special on this morning? Because you have been chosen. Mm. You've been chosen. You've been chosen to do some great things. Ah, so I, I, I got to look in here. And I said, God, so you said that he was chosen. And that he has some great things in store. These are the things that God wants his children to have. He wants them to be blessed. And highly favored. Yeah. So I got them moving on, and I I seen in the word. I said, "So what are you saying in the word on this morning?" He said, "Well, look at here, pain. Uh, they are my chosen generation. You are a chosen people." Yeah, chosen. He said, "Now listen here. Not only have they been chosen. Remember, you are a special people. You are God's choice. Yes. You are God's treasure. Yes. That was number one. Number two is." You are, and this is the title, you are God's royal priesthood. Right. Now look here. In the days when, when David was anointed as king, but he didn't get into his full position until later. Yeah. He had to deal with Saul. You're going to deal with some Saul's in your life. Yes, Folks you are. that are trying yes. to kill you. Yes. Folks that are trying to persecute you. Uh -huh. Folks that mean you, that mean you no good. Right. David was minding his own business. They called him in because Saul was being tormented. David was not only just a part of a chosen generation, he was also a priest. Now, yes. now let's go here because Look here. Back in those days, there was a separation between royalty and the priesthood. Right. The royalty was on this side. The priesthood was on this side. Uh -huh. What about the middle? The priest only... I'll get to that in a moment. Royalty means they had power. They power. had the authority yeah. to do some things. They had the finer things. Uh -huh. And that's what God wants his people to have in today's time. Right. Those good things that, uh, that are... Those good things that are laid out for the just, he wants you to have those good things. There's yeah. some good things that are coming your way. But yeah. you have to remain committed. You have to remain obedient to the things of God. Yeah. So David understood his role. He played his role. He knew what type of position he was in. He was anointed as king. And even at a young age, he still had to go through the guidelines and the preparation to receive and yeah. walk in his calling or walk in his office. And we have folks in today's time that walk straight into the office with no training. No training. They walk straight. Yeah. My God, they walk straight into the office right. with no training. Right, right. No understanding of what they're getting into. But now I'm called prophet so-and-so. Now I'm called bishop so-and-so. Now I'm called elder so-and-so. You don't know that there's some pain that's going to come with this? You best be ready for what's getting ready to happen right, to you. Right. David understood his role because he was in preparation for some things. And when yeah. you are in preparation for some things, you might not understand that it's for a goal down the line, right. but you just keep on doing the things 
that you're doing because one brick adds to another brick and as you keep adding on to those bricks you begin to build that yeah. foundation yeah. and that's what God is trying to have us do build yeah. a faith foundation yeah. and yeah. keep building and keep building and keep adding on to it yeah. David understood his role he understood his role he said look uh, I know I'm chosen I know I'm part of the priesthood yeah. I understand this Watch what David does here. Not only does he know his role, you better know your role when it comes to in today into the, today's time. Yeah. See, you just can't walk in anybody's land. You need uh -huh. to stay in your own all land. Right, all right. Don't swerve to the left. Don't swerve, but stay in your own land. Yeah. You can't be Blue, Brother Bluebird. You can't be Sister Redbird. You got to be yourself. Yeah, Don't right try now. to be like anybody else, but be yourself. Yeah. David, he comforted Saul, even though Saul tried to kill him. And this is the priesthood that begins to come out. Look, you are a, uh, uh, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Watch this. David understood the role of a, of the role of a, a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. He understood the royal part. Here's the priestly part. Okay. Remember, there was a separation. Mm -hmm. David, as a priest, a priest is to intercede. A priest is to pray. A right. priest is to worship. Okay. And what David did, he brought the royalty and the priest coming together. And now there's a merge right. in today's right. time. Right. Why is there a merge? Because Jesus ripped the he ripped the curtain in yeah. half. Watch yeah. what David did. Yeah. Not only did he know his role uh -huh. as royalty, but he understood the priesthood. Yeah. David interceded for Saul. When Saul was tormented, he played a melody that got rid of evil spirits. Right. God is right. seeking right. for folks that can pray, yes. that can play, that yes. can worship, Thank and get God. evil spirits off of folks. Are you that person that God is looking for in today's time? You yes. are a chosen generation, yes. a royal priesthood. Jesus ripped the tent, the curtain in half. Yes. Now you have access into the holies of holy. Now you have access. See, we ain't got to wait and do the things they did in old time. I've seen how David was getting this thing put together. So now since Jesus tore the curtain in half from top to bottom, we have access. And we can go boldly to the throne of gate grace and ask God and worship God in our own privacy, in our own home. You can go boldly into the to the throne of God yes. and ask him for what you need. Yes. You can speak those things and be not as though they were. Yes. David recognized his role. And I want to tell yes. somebody on this morning, you're not just a chosen generation. You are a royal yes. priesthood. Yes. You have the ability to worship. Yes. You have the ability to encourage. Thank you you have the ability to strengthen folks. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, you are. Yes. Hmm. You are. You are. You are. You are. So Peter is telling these folks. He said, I understand. Now we need some Peters in today's time. Right. Because Peter was an in-your-face type of person. <laughs> what this is the same Peter, the same Peter that denied Christ three times. What? This is the same Peter that turned his back on Jesus. This is the same Peter that walked on water. Peter wow. let them know that I have a relationship with yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. I walked with Jesus. Yeah. I talked with Jesus. Yeah. I understood what he was going through. Yeah. And he had to tell the people in 1 Peter, he said, look, there are some people that are not like you. They're not like-minded like you. See, Paul was beheaded. Paul was off the scene. And Peter was given an encouraging word. And on this morning... <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, yes. I'm giving you an encouraging word on this morning. If you don't know who you are, Peter lays it out. He tells you you are a chosen generation. Yes. You are a royal priesthood. And he lets them know, I know there's some persecution going on. Yes. But I know you are under fire. Is there anybody yes. that's been under fire lately for the things that you believe, for the things that you want? Have you been under yes. fire yes. because of your faith? And how your actions are. Yeah. Are you have you been under fire by loved ones, by yes. family members? Because how you believe, you don't believe like they do. They think you should act like this. They think you should talk like this. They yes. think 
yeah. you should walk like this. But you are under fire. Mm, mm, mm. Peter understood that these folks were under fire. That they was going through some things. Yeah. But he said, you must not know who you are. You belong to the almighty God. You are a representation yes. of who God is in the earthly realm. I don't care what they're throwing at you. Yes. I've walked with Jesus. I've been through hell and high water. Yes. You can get, make it through make just it like through. I did. Yes. Touch your neighbor and say, you can make it. You, you can, can make, make it. it. You, you can make it. I don't care what they're hurling at you. I don't care what they're saying about you. You can make it. Peter said, yes. don't get upset. Don't get mad. I know it looked like the wicked is prospering. Even in today's time, folks are seeing folks prospering. They're getting homes. They're getting cars. They're going on vacation trips. They're going all over the world. And you seem like you haven't went nowhere in, in, in years. And you're wondering how they're getting all this money. God said, don't worry about it. Yeah. And I just want to tell somebody on this morning, your time is now. Yes. God said, you getting ready to go on some trips. Yeah. You getting ready to go around the world. Yeah. You getting ready to write your book. All you right. been chosen. You getting ready to yes. do some great things. Right. And I prophesy to you right now the thing that was hindering you, that you walk by faith and not by All sight, right. that you move into the area that God wants you to move All in. Right. It's yeah. not what man thinks about you. It's not what, what your neighbor thinks about you, but it's what you think about you. You are gifted and you are highly favored with God. So you need to walk in that authority. Walk in it, walk so Peter lets them know, you need to walk like you are a child of God. Yeah, yeah. It's time out for whimpering and crying about what you don't have and what you do have. God is going to bless you for your faithfulness. Yeah. We have folks that are living off their circumstances. Yeah. And it's time out for living on your circumstances. Wow. You are to walk victorious in today's time. Yeah. You need to set the standards even in your own home. You ain't going to allow this in there. You ain't going to allow that in there. And I'm not just talking about your physical home. I'm talking about your spiritual house. Yes. This is your spiritual house. you got to be careful about what you let in your spirit. All yeah. Right? Mm. Be careful. Be careful. Peter said, look, Be careful. I know y'all going through some things. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know you're under fire. Yeah. I know you're being chased. Yeah, I know persecution is bad. But you are not to be like them. Right. You belong to God. Yeah. You are not to act like them. Yeah. You got to get rid of malice. You got to get rid of jealousy. Yeah. You got to get rid of envy. Yeah. Just remember, if you suffer with him, you shall also reign with him. Yeah. You, have, you have a living hope. And that living hope is because you believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Faith maketh not a shame. I mean, hope maketh not a shame. And you don't have no reason to hold. Peter said you have no reason to hold your head down. Right, you right. belong to the king. Oh, and how king. many thank God? Because when the king comes in, yeah. the king sets the order. Yeah. The king set the standard. Uh -huh. And all you have to do is walk in his footsteps. We are to pattern ourselves, be an example of what Christ is doing. Folks don't understand who they are is because they're too busy looking at what everybody else is doing. Right, right, right. Uh, you can't worry about what everybody else is doing. Right. Worry about what you doing, right. how you can further yourself, how you can grow spiritually yeah. in the things of God. Don't worry about if somebody got a degree here or got a degree there. You can chase that same thing for yourself yeah. and get the same understanding. So don't let lack be an excuse why you don't get right. up and move. Right, right, right. It, it, it's not going to work. It's not, not going to work. work. Peter, let them know. He said, look, you belong to God. Yes. You belong to a God who can strengthen you. You belong to a God that can heal you. Yes. You belong yes. to a God that can motivate you yes. and encourage you. You belong yes. to a God who belong can pick God. you up and place your feet on solid ground. You belong yes. to a God that can make a way out of nowhere. You belong to a God who's a bridge over trouble. You belong to a God yes. that can do marvelous things yes. if you put it in his hands. Yes, put it in his hands. Paul lets them, Peter lets them know, you don't have to live like this. Right. You set the standards because now here's the third part for you. He said, you're a chosen generation, meaning 
you're part of the elect. Mm. You are a special treasure yeah. of his. You are a, a king and pre you are a kingdom of priests. You are a worshiper. Yes. You are a intercessor. Yes. You are a prayer warrior. You can get a prayer through. Yes. You can get in and you have access for yourself to do some things that you need that call some things into existence yeah, for yourself. God in. said, call them in. You can call those things. And now he says, and this why, the third title, he lets you know you are a holy nation. Yeah. That means you have been set apart. Yeah, you are to represent him. Yeah. And that is, and by representing him who called you out of out into his marvelous light, he calls you into a position to show forth the praises of him who has called you. Touch your neighbor and tell him, I've been called. I've been, I've been called. called. I've been called. God has called you to make known the great things that he has done for you in your life. To make known how he has healed your body. To make known yes. how he has uh, strengthened your heart. He had he he has called you and made you to and got you want you to make known the great things that God has done for you. How he's put money in your pocket. How he's uh, uh, allowed you to have a job. How he He's uh, positioned you yeah, for the yeah. promises of God. He wants you to make known of the great and marvelous things that he has done for you. So if God has done anything for you, you ought to let that be known yes. from the height and from the highest heights to yes, the lowest God. valley yes, about God. what God has yes. done for you. God has healed your body. Yes. He has strengthened your mind. Yes. He has rearranged your heart. He has given you a heart after him. And he has put humility deep within you. Yes. So we thank God on this morning for allowing Peter who was an example to the folks who encouraged the folks yeah, that God. they can make it regardless yeah. of what everybody else is doing remember you are chosen yeah. and don't let nobody tell you anything different yeah. they don't want to see you go nowhere they don't want to see you do great things but you need to let them know I've been chosen I'm not going off about what you said about me I'm going off about what God has said about me God has said some great things about me he said I am the head and not the tail right. I am above and not beneath yeah. he lets me know that I can do some great things right. and I can do some damages yeah. damage to the kingdom of darkness and now that we are in his light we are in we are in his grace and we are in his mercy God has given us the runway to do some great things for him. Yes, yes. So let nobody, nobody discourage nobody. you. We walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. God has not given us the spirit of fear. No, no, no. But of power, love, yes. and a sound mind. Yes. So on this morning, I want you to be encouraged. Yes. That you are a chosen generation. Yes. A royal priesthood. Yes. A holy nation. Yes. Set apart from everybody else. Know who you are in Christ. And don't worry about it, nobody else. Right. As long as you're doing the things that please God, right. that's all that matters. Yes. On this morning, you belong to God. Belong to Identify God. yourself with the things of God, with the people of God. Thank and that God. is our lesson, our thought on this morning. Yes. I want you to be blessed. Be blessed. I want you to be highly favored. Yes. And I want to open the doors of the church at this time. Yes, yes. If you would like to be a part of this family, uh, uh, you can reach us by Facebook or by Messenger. If you don't know the Lord and the pardon of your sin, there's an invitation to Christ. We want to extend Christ to you, let you know that Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. If you would like to be a blessing to this ministry. Amen. We have folks that bless us online. We have folks that are blessing us constantly. But it's for God's glory. God's and glory. to God yes. be the glory. Yes. And God if you send glory. in your messages yes. that you want God to do some great things for you, we're going to pray for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor. We thank you for what Peter had to say to us on this morning. That we can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens us. 
regardless of what's going on in our lives, we can be that example that others need to see. Yes. Now, Father, for those that don't know you, touch them right now. Yes. Father, lay your hand on them. Yes. Let them know that you're with them in the yes. late hours yes. while they're crying. Tell them and whisper in their ear that they didn't cry their last, their last tear, that you didn't, they didn't cry their last cry. Father, bless them right now. Let them know that you are a father that answers prayers and that you are there for them, that you'll never leave lead them nor forsake them. And Father, we give you praise on this morning for what you have done in this place. It is marvelous in our sight. And we thank you for the great things that you are doing and how you're moving and how you're blessing. Father, your hand is not, is not short or not slack concerning the promises that you have for your people. And we just bless your name on this morning for the great things that you're doing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Now come on and give the Lord a hand have a praise on this morning. Amen. 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 You belong Amen. to God. Yes. You belong yes. Yes. to God. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Lady P with our announcement. Amen. Amen. Let's give a hearty amen as she comes. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Ooh, what an awesome word. Awesome yes. word. Lord God, I thank you for that word. Pastor Payne, I thank you because you, you were talking to me about some issues. I've cried my last tear on certain issues. Thank Amen. God. You have joined us this morning, Outstretched Evangelistic Ministries. We thank you for joining us. We thank you for sending us messages. We thank you, and you will be blessed. Our announcements are as follows. You can follow us on Facebook. And we have our church page, Outstretch Evangelistic Ministries. We also have Elder Payne, Elder Michael Payne page. You can also contact us through our um, post office box, uh, which will be listed up. Post office box 6211. That will be put up on the screen. You can also contact us through our Facebook Messenger. You can also contact us at 42Payne at gmail.com. If you would like to, you know, donate, contribute to OEM, we have our cash out, which is our dollar sign, OEM 1969. Now this morning, before we do other announcements, we do want to um, acknowledge that we have people who have asked for prayer, and we have gone into prayer, and after our service online, as our church members are here today, we will be also lifting you up in prayer. We have the Armour family in Fort Wayne. We're praying for you. We also have my family, the Lester family in Chicago. Um, my cousins lost their son on this week, so we'll be praying for you mm -hmm. as well. And also praying for those that we don't know, the sick, the people in the nursing home and hospitals. We are praying for you. And OEM had our first outreach for our team event on yesterday. Amen. It was a success. Amen. It was a success. We not only have the people with OEM, we had friends, we had family members, we had sponsors, you know, can I tell you sponsors, yes. companies in Fort Wayne that helped us. We had a wonderful time. Yes. It was a blessed time in yes. the Lord. We had people who we met that joined us for, even if it was a, for a short time yesterday, OEM is out there. Yes. We're out there in the community trying to help. And next year, we will have our second event. It has been requested, so we will be working on that. Amen. Also, on July the 4th, OEM will be in fellowship with New Beginnings Church or Fort Wayne and Cross Point Church in Kendallville, Indiana. So we, you may see us on live, um, live in the event, but we will not have our normal church live service. Amen. Um, also, we want to um, thank Pastor Payne. We have him lifted up in prayers. You are doing what God has said to do. Amen. So keep your head up and keep pushing. Amen. Also, like we said, if you would like to be a member, you do have all of our contact information. You can go on our websites, contact us. We will contact you back. Also, we want to continue to also uh, congratulate uh, Minister Cheney's grandchildren on graduating this year oh, yeah. so that's a blessing anytime you get a child through school it is a blessing Amen. Um, we just also want to um, thank our our graphic team that helps us um, our two young ladies 
Um, also keep our son in prayer who's on the road working, who wants to be here. But we know that he goes back to view the message. And at this point, this is our um, this is all that I have for today. Stay tuned for more announcements coming on events that will be coming in July and August of this year from OEM. Pastor Payne, back to you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for those announcements. Amen. If there is no other, may we all stand at this time. All right. All right. Amen. Truly, we thank God for the words on today. And we know that God is doing some great things. Yes. So we just bless his name for the things that he's doing at this time. Yes. And we're looking forward to greater things to happen yes. in our lives and through our lives. And may it touch those that are, our, that are connected with us. So on this morning, realize that you belong to God. Yes. Let us pray. May the Lord bless you. Yes. Bless you and keep you. And keep you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And keep you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And keep you. Henceforth. Henceforth. Now. Now. And forevermore. And forevermore. And the church say Amen. 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 Consider yourself dismissed. Thank you for watching OEM on this morning. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Convenient said, I want to come to service.